Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic Instagram feed in your Google Sheets. So basically this is something like this and then you can use it uh, in your content planner and it updates automatically. So that's super, super nice and you just do it once and then you never have to worry about it again. So let's get started and first we need an Instagram feed. Um, so I'm just going to create a new sheet over here to make it very, very easy for you. Let's make the size right. So I'm going to choose uh, all of these. I'm going to drag them. I'm going to choose these. I'm going to drag them. And here we have our Instagram feed. Maybe I just want this. These ones I can hide or delete. No problem. So it's not distracting you. And the same with this. Let me just go to the back, to the very back and hide all the rows. So here we have only nine squares and that's it. Now for this to be the most efficient Instagram feed possible, I'm going to show you how to create your Instagram feed really quickly. And honestly, this is probably the fastest way to do it anyways. So what we're going to do, we're going to use these dimensions on Canva. This is free also, if you don't know. And now with this, what we're going to do is we're going to go to elements. We're going to go to the grids that they're not showing for some reason. Sometimes they do that, but here, now they do that. Mm, now they show it. I mean. Okay, so now we're going to have to scroll down. This is the most painful part of this video, I promise. And we're going to go down, 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 down. Still down. I told you it's going to be a little painful. Okay. And here we have it. Finally, we changed the spacing. All of this is going to be in your language. So don't worry. So we changed the spacing and then we can just add images uh, to, to these squares. So I don't have a pro version for this um, account. So everything's free. And what we're going to do, we're going to just go here. Uh, and add the images that we want. Once you add them, you can also drag them. Now, if you're going to use some graphic elements, a more comfortable way to do it is actually to use a ruler. So you would just add the ruler somewhere here, somewhere here. It doesn't have to be crazy exact, but pretty, pretty close to it. And you just have it. This is not going to cut your image in any shape way or form, but it's going to help you to know where the squares are. So for example, I'm going to delete this now and now I can see where the squares are, even if it's just a new page, the rulers stay everywhere. Okay. So we have this, we then add, add, add all kinds of images that we want. This is going to be a great feed. I promise you, as you can see by the speed that I'm making it. Um, but yeah, but it's, you know, I'm sure you're going to do a much better job than me. Um, and again, we move them a little bit. We sh For me, I really like it to do it here because then I can like mix and match and move the images around and do all kinds of fun stuff. So we're going to do this. Um, and how do we do that? So we download the image uh, and you can also uh, send it to people. So I'm going to download, I'm going to just download the first page and that's it. Then we go to pine tools, split image, and then we split the image that we have just downloaded. I don't know if I probably typled, type, uh, titled it something weird Did I, I always do that. Okay. Super organized. Okay. Here it is. Um, I didn't title it at all. Okay. We choose both grid three, three, really important because it will slice it both ways. And we choose the image quality to a hundred because we want it super nice. We split the image, we wait, and then what's happening. I'm, do I have to move myself? I don't know what happened guys, but Probably my computer just decided to not work today. Okay, here it is, it appeared now. Never happened to me before, by the way. It's just loading like super slowly. I think because I have a million tabs open, which is embarrassing, but anyways. Um, I promise you, it never happened to me like this before. <sighs> 
Okay, this is the second painful part. I thought or this is gonna be the quickest one. Anyways, you upload it. I'm gonna wait for it a little bit. But basically, I have the images there and I can just add them here. And the way I like to do it is I go insert, insert image, insert image in cell. This is really important because the way Google will um, see your image is different. And then you just add your images there. I, I probably have some photos. Yeah, I have some photos. So I can just add random images already. Uh, they're just all mixed up, but who cares? So, um, and what is going on? Okay, I'm gonna reload the page. Choose to do this again. Not frustrated at all. Um, why are you doing this computer? Three, three. Sorry about this, guys. Okay, go up. <laughs> okay, split image, finally. See, it's super fast when it wants to. We download the zip file. Uh, okay. And we just click on it twice. So that makes it, um, that, that unzips it. And then we have all the images over here. And it's really nice because it's uh, easy for you to follow. So then we go to our digital planner and we add the images there. So oh, I used the wrong shortcut. So there's a shortcut for that, what I just showed you. So it's option and slash. And then I type in I and then click enter. And then I just add the image. So we're going to go here and here. And after that, I'm going to add all of the images there. And do this again. Okay, not all of them, some of them. I'm not, I don't want you to wait for 5 million years until I add. I mean, it's not that long, but I already made you wait. Okay, so then we uh, add all of these images. And after we do that, we're going to create a next sheet. So we create a next sheet. And this is where we're going to have our content. So it depends on where you want the image. Maybe you want it here. Maybe you want, so maybe you want it to go like this. Or maybe you want it to go like this. I'm going to do it like this this time. So we're going to just select all of these um, and make them a little bigger. And we're going to select all of these and make them a little bigger as well. So they are like little squares now. Okay. So now, um, I, let's say I want my first image to be here. So I'm going to just write equal sign and I'm going to go to the sheet and I'm going to click on the image. After that, I'm going to click do the same for my three images that I have. And oh, oops, and I'm going to go and do the same. Now I have my three images. I can also make them a little smaller or I can make them a little bigger if that's what I like. Uh, apparently that's what I like right now. I want them to be big. Maybe not that big. Like this. So as you can see, even if you don't know the exact measurements, it's really easy for you to move them around. And now maybe we want uh, the date. So I'm just going to write the date like this. Um, and then I can just use click on it, use this square and drag. So now it's going to change the days for me. And that's it. Those are connected. And now I can do whatever I want. So let's say I want to change one of these images. I'm just going to go to my feed. And I'm going to go and add, oh, I did it wrong again. I'm going to add in a different image. So let's say I'm going to add this chair. So as soon as I add it here in my feed view, okay, I did it there. Great. Uh, it is going to appear in my content plan. So like this. And then with this, what you can create later on is something like this, uh, where you have the image, then you have a content pillar. You can have whether you posted it or not. You can write your caption. So, you know, here I could write my caption over here. I could have my hashtags and I could also make it pretty. Like this. 
Now, if you want to have instead of date, you want to have days, you would just select this, go to format, number, date, custom date and time. And then I'm going to just choose whatever I want. So maybe I want uh, the days. So I would just click apply. And as you can see, there all the days appear over here. Okay. Hope that that's is the hope that this is helpful and let me know if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to answer everything in the comments. See you next time.